Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Don't you just love a good early alarm clock sound like that? <laughs> it's ferry day. So yeah, we're back on the ferry today. We're on the ferry to Europe. Yeah, we're off. We're going over to Calais, aren't we? Yeah, Dover? at the moment we're in Canterbury mm. and then we are heading down to Dover, but you're not going to guess the big massive schoolboy error that I've done. You've run out of tea bags, haven't you? How can I allow that? No Yorkshire tea. So, we're on a mission, Mercy, this morning. We're off to Tesco's. It opens at six o'clock. I have got to take some Yorkshire tea with me. I cannot drink the tea that you get abroad. It is, ugh. We're off to Tesco's first. Fill up with petrol because prices are shooting up again up over um, in a, here, a year apart yeah. there. Compared to Scotland, yeah. yeah it's really expensive down here. 10p a litre more for diesel generally, aren't we? And, and a lot more in services and motorway services. So. Yeah, so we're going to fill up, get them tea bags and get down to Dover. So we've come in for Yorkshire tea, we've ended up with all sorts. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's like heaven. That one you want, don't you? No, that won't last me. Get a big box. You like a big, where are you going to put them? We've got a room. Oh, I'll farm room. Can you get Yorkshire gold? No. We'll have Yorkshire tea. Always it's the best one. Back. Always take them from about yeah. the tea bags, Mark. Well, I understand you're doing that with fresh stuff, but... Right, frozen sausage, because we couldn't get any in, 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 in Aldi the other day. I mean, you don't get it in Europe, can you? Not our sausage, what we like. Um, freezers, be up Freezers. Here. Best time to come to Tesco's, isn't it? Look how quiet it is. I know, but it's only about half six, isn't it? If that. Prawns. Ooh. Get me out of here. Got me Costa. It's not the start of an holiday for me without a Costa. <laughs> Holidays. What, for three months? Three months, yeah. Yeah. We free work, months. aren't we, for three months? Yeah, that's us off to work in Europe. Cheers. I heard a ringing bell this morning And it woke me from a dream And in that dream I heard a warning Saying leave the rest, take only what you need That's the first schoolboy error marks made today. <laughs> we came when we came in, we were with all the lorries, so we couldn't see where we were going. So Mark's gone to a lorry check-in. So they've given us that and said you're gonna have to go all the way around again. So we've just had to go all the way back to the beginning. Not through passport control, but this time we'll get it right. Couldn't see the signs, would you for the car ones? So. I did say we were boxed in with lorries. A lorry driver did try telling us, so. Let's try again, shall we? Anyway. Right, look for the cars, Mark. Cars over there. Oh, there's one there, DFDS. There's one car in it. Yeah. Going that one. <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed we're doing right. He's just been scanned and it's beeped, so you're all legal, Chico. You're all legal, aren't you? Oblivious. The best thing about Chico is he can have longer than 90 days, can't he? He can because he's a Spanish resident, isn't he? Mm. Well, we're in. We've done it right this time. We're right at the front of the queue. Looks like everyone's gone on. No, I mean, we all need queuing up here, aren't we? Oh, right, okay. We're right at the front anyway, so we should be first on, first off, of course, shouldn't we? Okay. <laughs> we should get to France at about quarter past 11 because it's an hour in front. Yeah, so. And Mark wants to go straight to the supermarket. Go have, down, a, have a look for Super U, Lee. So oh, we yeah. We like Super U's, don't we? You do. So we've arrived, we are now in Calais. Nice cloudy Calais. Oh well, at least it's not the UK. It's not windy and it's not raining. <laughs> so we are making our way over to Bruges for today. That's gonna to be our first point of call. Apparently it's called Clasters, the little Venice of the North. Because there is plenty of street canals and things. So that's gonna be interesting to have a look at. But Mark wants a supermarket first. 
Why? I don't know. He just likes the supermarkets. So within half an hour we've arrived in France and we've left France. We're now in Belgium. Uh, we're heading to Bruges. Now this is completely a new area for us. Never been. <laughs> never. been, never been never. Belgium, so. Exciting. Right, so we made it to Bruges. We've got to park up. You'll find it on Search for Sat, right next to the canal. And right next to a scooter path. <laughs> oh, we double checked and triple checked, haven't we? Yeah. Um, What's the law? We changed it a couple of years ago a little bit, but it's still it's still legal. We were just double checking because I mean, there's loads of people riding bikes, but not, not, not scooters. scooters so. Everyone's on bikes, but we'll be on scooters. So. Yeah, and the scooter law is um, you've got to be 16. over 16, aren't you, yeah. to ride a scooter in Bruges. Now, these are our scooters. I just want to say something quickly while we've got them out. Everybody asks us what scooters we've got. We tell we don't tell you because they don't make them anymore. This no, is a Nambot. Is it a Nambot G30? Yeah. Uh, something like, I can't something like that. Something like that. And then yours is a... Uh, a uh, Halford Special. <laughs> a, a Xiaomi M365. But we do one similar. And some of the very, very cheap ones you can buy. I Look like, like that. This one, yeah. yeah so. But yeah, the, these, I mean, they're three years old, aren't they? Coming up for three years, that, are they? We're saying they've been in, we've been in storage for six months because we've been back in England for six months. Yeah. So. so time to get the old helmet on. And let's go and see what's in Bruges. we found it we found the center of Bruges and it's called the Berg or the Bruges quarter there's all different quarters in the city center uh, and I've had to stop here because look at these behind us look at them for eggs I thought they were full of chocolate didn't they? no they're not they're like gift boxes I mean, look if you at will. that one's got a big cock on it Lisa. anyway let's let's go and find some chocolate you said it's good in it Belgian chocolate yeah, it's supposed to be chocolate waffles and things ask, like that, hot chocolates. I'll and ask for some chocolate chocolate in Flemish. Up to now, we have seen some beautiful buildings. Um, but if we don't get run over by a bike, we'll be able to show I you. There's loads of bikes <laughs> here, loads. Aren't they? Everyone's looking at us like crazy because we've got scooters. The and they're not electric bikes either, they're all pedal ones. 80% of them are pedal bikes, but they probably know nothing different. But it's level here, it's a bit like the uh, Netherlands and it's flat. So. Yeah, let's go and have a look. Let's go and get some food. Where did you just go? Gross Friet. What? Gross Friet. You can get there for six euros ten. That's all right. What's Gross Friet? It? Oh, it's chips, isn't it? Oh. It's a frittery. Chips. Grand Friet. Yeah, but the thing, no, <laughs> Gross. All oh, right. But the hamburgers at thirteen fifty, aren't they? Thirteen wow. fifty for an hamburger menu. Yeah, but look at this. I'm, I'm more bored about this. We just walked around the corner and walked into this magnificent square. Now that over there is the Belfry of Bruges and it has 366 steps to get to the top but apparently it's a panoramic view from the top mark they're queuing up to get in as well aren't they I think I'll go and buy you a ticket see if you can get up one without tripping over <laughs> doubt it I think I'd win that bet but look at these beautiful shop, uh, restaurants behind us these are gorgeous planes, aren't they, going, aren't they? So. yeah yeah beautiful aren't they this is like where they hold the market as well mm -hmm. But look at the history behind all these buildings, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, there's a Chinese down there. Oh, look at that, can you see it? You can get, oh no! I don't believe it. Away from me, yeah. I do not believe it. Have you got something to wipe it off? Put me up. Bloody birds just cacked on me. Oh, muck for luck. So we've just got to interrupt our uh, tour of Bruges market because Marx has told me he's left the motor on keys in the scooter pouch and we've walked away from them so we're rushing back now well, to go and get the keys his phone's just told him he's left his keys behind I'll make him pay for this one I tell you what a way to look round the city awesome car
remember, didn't it? Eh? It's a good job they were still there. I'm telling you, they've been yeah, in some, big trouble. Someone could have took. Uh, the reason why I know is I remember I was doing some B-roll on my phone, and I've got the Apple Air tag there, and it went off on my phone saying you've left your motor on keys behind. I'm like, huh? Because uh -huh. no one nicked him because he could have gone back and took Chico and put yeah, him in a casserole. Then you would have been in trouble. Could have had Chico stew. Well, you, I don't know if you can hear that in background with Mark Wittering on, but I'm going to show you the bells that you can you climb 399 steps for, 366. Oh, now it's donging. But there's another one behind us here. Let me show you this. This is called the Historium. And if you go in there today, you can go all the way up there for 12 euros, apparently, Mark. Yeah. Uh, but it's, come and have a look at this inside, there's like a, I think it's a dummy, I hope it is, I hope it's not a real person because I'm going to show myself up now if it is, but it's like one of those interactive, you know, things, look, they do a guarded thing round, so you put the goggles on if you want to, virtual reality, oh yeah, come and have a look at this, I'm sure it is a dummy, I saw him from outside and I thought, is that a real person or not? Oh yay, oh no, yay, it's, it's, dear visitors, oh, you're, you're about to travel back in time to Bruges in the Middle Ages. Welcome to Historium. <laughs> what are you doing? You do that's a woman with a child, I think. I'm a breastfeeding. <laughs> Not only can you get a horse and cart around the city, you can get city tours as well. Yeah. I think you just jump on that. Looks like a roof goes back on that, doesn't it? 50 minute tour. Something you could do in summer, isn't it, that? But it's quiet enough at minute just to walk round, isn't it? Yeah, you get tickets on the finger as well, it says on the bus. Yeah. The only thing I have to notice straight away here is you've got to watch your bikes come straight out. Oh, they're you? everywhere. Now, we've just come down the road and it said no bikes, so we got off and walked and everyone was going past us on bikes. It's, an, it's like a one-way system, if you will, but they don't seem to care. But we weren't going to risk it. Now, Bruges is it's famous for lace-making, would you believe? Is it? Mm. I think it's going to take more than one day to get round here. Uh, we haven't even found the canal bits yet, have we? That make it look no. like a little Venice. So let's go and have a look a bit more. So we've just come in as far as you can go without paying to go in the museum. This is the belfry on the other side of the tower. Really old. It feels a bit airy in here, doesn't it? Mm. It's like a courtyard, isn't it? And what have you going round? I feel like it could have easily been a prison in here. I don't know why, it just looks like a prison to me. Mm, but that's the bars, tower up there. Right the way up there. It's 13 euros and 17 euros, depending on how old you are. Well, there's to a come machine in. here, isn't it? It's automated, so we'll tell you. So we we'll look. Uh, oh, 15 euros if you're over 17, an adult, and 7 to, 7 to 17, 13 euros. Children under 7 going free. There's a really medieval look. smell in this corner. I don't know what it is, but it stinks more. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, but it smells like. Medieval drains. It smells like toilets when it's in a warm country, doesn't it? It smells a bit. Mmm, poo. So we've just nipped into a McDonald's for a coffee. The one thing I can say that's good about the UK is they do a good cup of coffee because everywhere we go in Europe, they seem to be on the miniature thing, that don't was, they? That was a medium one. There's a smaller version than that as well. That's like a regular coffee, anyway. 2 90 that as well. Euros this McDonald's that we've come into, there's three floors. Now the third floor, you have to pay another 50 cents, 50 cents to go on the third floor. And this one, it's like the oldest McDonald's we've ever been in with the beams and everything, but it's really clinical. Everything's white. It's really strange, isn't it? But it's more expensive than England. A lot more expensive than England, isn't it? We've, we've, we've had to go for the value burgers. I think they're about 120 back in England. A lot more here, aren't there? Three euros. Yeah. Oh well. It's filled a hall. Just need to get some um, sweetener for my coffee, then I can drink it in one gulp. <laughs> Marks has gone to the third floor to go to toilet. You've got to pay for it. There's a guy actually sat there. With a You're joking. Tub of top coffee there, fifty cents. Uh, and he we had, had no change. We have no we? change on us, so <laughs> can't even go and spend a penny or fifty cents. We shouldn't have to when you bought things. Do That's terrible, that isn't it? I'm shame on you, McDonald's. And Nicky, you clam free staircases to find out that. Oh dear. So that's the building there, <laughs> McDonald's. Yeah, fancy, isn't it? It's that fancy you have to pay to go to the toilet. And <laughs> what I'm saying, you want to wash your hands, it's bad, isn't it? Yeah, you can't wash your hands before you have your food, can you? That's a bit naughty. But yeah, oh, the only way you'll know it's McDonald's is by it saying it's door but door there. It's normally a big yellow building, isn't it? Yeah. Very posh, but you pay for it. So we'll carry on looking around. 
Oh, chocolate shop, Mark. The chocolate kiss. Oh, yeah. We were just saying, because we've come here now when we're an hour in front, aren't we? So I think it's going to go dark earlier. But it's not. It's going to be later. Yeah, it? so, yeah. It'll be later, won't it, now? So it's going dark back in England, but roughly about half past five. It should be about half past six, nearly seven o'clock here. Really, so. Good. Good. Bring on the light and arts, because it gets dark far too early in the UK at the moment. We've come back to the van. Mr. Man's uh, tired and he's hungry. This one, we had to come and make sure that you were all right, didn't we? So I'm on tea duties and I am making, get this, chicken curry from scratch with, uh, is it Nessie Gore? Gore, Nancy Garang. We got it from Aldi. Nancy Garang, look at that for a rass. We got it from Aldi so, just across the road where we parked. Yeah, can you believe that Aldi's right across the corner from where we are? Mm. Chico, get down. No tea, you don't come up here. And I'm making Mark's favourite chicken curry. Now this is the sauce that we keep going on about. Everyone keeps saying it's the Mayflower. It's not. We don't use Mayflower curry sauce. We use this paste. So it's a curry sauce, but it's a paste. And you just keep adding it to the thickness that you want it to be. Man's getting there. Just bring it to the boil and it gets thicker and thicker. Shove some chicken or prawns in it. Bang! You've got you've got an absolutely pearling Chinese chicken, Chinese yeah. chicken to go with your nasi gori rice. So Lisa thinks this looks like a Chinese. What do you think? What's wrong with it? No, it looks nice actually. Doesn't it? I'm impressed. Well, I've done a good job, I think. Yeah, and saved us some money. We found that they do that too good to go here as well. Don't mm, we? I'll have yeah. to look into that. Yeah. Can you imagine all, if if the chocolateers do it? Can you imagine? Loads here in Bruges, but they're Chinese, weren't they, down the road? Yeah, there's Chan so. Chinese. What's it called? Oriental walk or something. something. But you've got to take your but you've got to take your tub with you for you've that. You've got to take your own tubs for your uh, food to pick it up. I don't get that, but we've mm. got this now anyway. So sit down, feet up, and a cup of Yorkshire tea for afters. Morning has broke. <laughs> so Mark thinks sharing's caring and gonna give me his man flu. Absolutely oh, full of it this morning. But can't be man flu because I've managed to get up, get dressed, made him some breakfast. You haven't made me any breakfast at all. I haven't had anything at all yet. You have, you've had croissants. Fetched them back from shop for you. I'm gonna go and eat out today. Oh really? Some I'd like nice. to see I'd like to see where you're gonna go because it's well expensive food here. We Doesn't watched matter. money's not a point, is it, with plenty? Yeah, right. <laughs> You won't have if you lived here for that long. Um, yeah, we were looking at some menus yesterday, weren't we? We did see one. It was a free course meal and it was 25 euros. And it didn't look bad, actually, did it? No. It looked like a nice little cafe place, restaurant. But everywhere else, they were like, burgers are like 14, 15 euros. No, not that much at McDonald's. So we're heading back out today. There is a place that we found last night, but it got so dark that we didn't bother filming it. It's called, oh, what do you call it now? Something key. It's supposed to be the most pictured area of uh, Bruges, so we're going to go back there today. Mm. It's where all the canals are. It's been sunny, hasn't it, and then, but I think it's going to mm. rain. It keeps going rain cloudy and then sunny, but it's not very warm, is It's it? forecast everything today, so we've just gone on the emphasis it's probably going to rain, mm. so we'll probably go out and it'll be baking sun. Just don't know what to wear for the best when it's weather like this, do you? And you're feeling awful. Thankfully, I fetched some, thinking on you see, I fetched some uh, flu tablets and some Sudafed with me. So I'm well stocked up. I won't milk it like some do. All right, we'll go and have a look round then, shall we? Yeah, right. yeah. We'll see what, before it rains, it looks like it's going to, doesn't it? It's still bright, isn't it? It's brighter than it's been up in Scotland. It's been dark up there at, for weeks, hasn't it? Like really grey, and but it's a bit brighter anyway, so. It's still too cold for this little one. He won't appreciate being taken out today, will you? But I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna be right long today because, like I say, I'm not feeling it. Mm. We might have a buzz round and then set off road and stop here tonight. Eh? Yeah. Now then, Netherlands. So we did, we asked you all about scooters and things, and if anyone knows where you can and can't go with them. Now the Netherlands, it's just a big fat no. Yeah. They banned them, we, which we never knew, did we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all sorts of laws, isn't it? Which we didn't know about that. I mean, you can go dogging and stuff, but you can't do that, can you? <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, so we were going to go to Amsterdam. I really would like still to go because we're literally in spitting distance of it now. We're on the, we're nearly, we're more in 
that way than France, aren't we? People said, "Don't bother." It's a bit I messy. Know. But I don't know. I mean, we've plenty of places to go, so. So we just don't know yet. You'll have to wait and see because we don't know where we're going yet. Mm. Um, there is a few places we found. I mean, the sats are forty-two pound. <laughs> it's just quite stupid. But there is a few sats further out where we can get the metro in. So I've got to do a bit of um, what do you call it research on that before. But we may end up going today mm. and Maybe. get back on the road. Who knows? Who cares? We're out and travelling. That's what we're out to do. So yeah, get your coat on. Get wrapped up and let's go and have a look at Bruges again. Hey, guess what? What? 89 days remaining. Oh, for God's sake. So we still haven't moved. We've been here all morning. The rain, after I told you we were going to take you back into Bruges, it's just never stopped. Absolutely yeah. pelting down. It's gone really bitterly cold it's as well. really cold. I know as we speak at the moment, in central Eng England, there's snow and stuff, isn't there now? So, yeah. It's the same band of rain right across. So. I took Chico out about midnight last night before I got into bed, and I was wearing a T-shirt just outside the, the van. We weren't bad yesterday. No, we're, we're a shame. So we did say at the beginning of this trip, if it's rain or a, any bad weather, we're moving on. So we've sat here for two and a half hours, waiting and waiting and waiting. Not going to wait anymore. And the forecast isn't brilliant for the rest of the day. And tomorrow and the day after. And Sunday, yeah, because it's Friday now, Sunday shut down, isn't it? In, uh, yeah, Sunday in shuts Bruges. in Bruges. It all just completely, like the old days in England, everything just shuts. It's a non-shop day. So... Not waiting here till Monday, guys. It's only Friday now, so... And it's Friday, it means only one thing, going to Germany. We're going straight to Germany, we're going to get a German donner. He wants a donner kebab for his <laughs> for his tea. So we're going to go to Germany, all the way to Germany for a donner kebab. Oh, my goodness. But at least the weather's 12, 13 degrees and sunny there at the minute. It's yeah. about 120 miles. And the place, uh, the place that we've spotted is a place that I've been before, and we'll tell you that story when we get there. It's quite a fascinating story, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get back in the driver's seat now, um, clear the windows, get on the road. We have finally arrived, hit quite a bit of traffic then coming all the way down. Um, but it's five o'clock so we're not going to be going anywhere tonight we're going to stop here tonight and probably going to Arkham tomorrow morning uh, now this is a fantastic place to park it's a park and ride believe it or not um, so if you're ever searching for somewhere to come in Europe look for your park and rides like I said in, U in the UK as well because they do it over in Germany as well uh, now this park and ride you just literally park up and you don't have to ride get that now we've been the weekend we've hit on the Friday Apparently there's a lot of people use this to go into the office on Monday to Friday So we're expecting this to be quite quiet this weekend um, Just if you can see right behind me up there There's a load of shops, well they're not shops, they are florists There's like three different ones, all selling fresh flowers and plants So there is a road just behind us, but can you hear the horns? We're presuming that's going to go quiet tonight So we'll review it tomorrow and see how we get on tomorrow Because we might stop tomorrow night as well now I do believe for a family of five on the bus into Arkan it takes about 10 to 15 minutes and it's five euros for a full family of five so it'd be even cheaper for a single person but if we're going in tomorrow morning we're going in on our scooters. Some kind of celebration going on look. Oh look. Yeah. Can't you tell it's Friday night? Freaky Fridays. Oh well someone's celebrating something. Now I'm going back in because I'm freezing and I've got a prawn curry to make for his nibs because he's done a four hour drive, don't you know? I thought that's what motor roaming were all about, driving. Anyways, if I don't pick you up tonight, I will see you in the morning. We've just had an absolute nightmare, haven't we? Since about tea time, since about five o'clock tonight, we took, where we parked, there's like oh. a flower place, isn't there, Lisa? Like a flower shop, yeah. like a, a garden centre. I showed you, them earlier on. You took, you took Chico for a walk around, and he's, he's always done it since we got him his Finkel reverse sneezing ways. And anyway, he wouldn't stop, would he? He's got worse and worse and worse all night until he was like struggling to breathe. So obviously we just got to Germany. We don't speak any German other than a very, very basic hello and thank you and stuff like that.
it's quarter to ten. We've just driven all the way round Aachen, all the way round the ring road on the motorway to the to a, uh, an emergency vet. We greet. We there was no one there, was it? But it was no. like a, a gentleman we started trying to talk to. He didn't speak any English. Obviously, we didn't speak German. We're trying to use Google Translate, and we've noticed that Chico stopped, hasn't he? He just stopped dead doing this noise. He's been yeah. doing it for like you say hours. But then before we left for the vets we parked opposite the vets is a, a little and there was cleaning up there's shutting it's got bollards <laughs> well there's still up barriers so we parked in little the vets is opposite we we're over over the road but before we did that as we left the van we noticed one of these pet biscuits on the floor didn't yeah. we? like a flat one um or soggy and we thought it's a bit odd he's not been eating nothing but he's had drinks and milk and stuff yeah. but we're doing milk to try yeah, and clear his throat and... and he was just wheezing and everything um anyway so we go over to the vets and we notice he stopped doing stuff for a few minutes talking to this german gentleman i think he said he's a lawyer or something anyway he stopped doing it and he looks like he's fine now and he, he was talking to the vet about someone and then he's come out and said he's going to try and get someone on the phone english speaking to me mm. And in the meantime, I'm thinking, well, he's not doing it. So then he's, he's stopped doing it now. The vet comes to the door, he's talking to this German chap. So we're waiting, and I see they're coming out the Lidl, aren't they? And they're going to put these bollards down. The cleaners so I, were coming out, weren't they? I rushed over to Lidl, jumped in the van to bring it to park it over the road. But you can't, the road, it's like two lanes each side, and it's got like a bollard in the middle, so you can't drive across to park outside. <laughs> so I would have had to driven and left you on your own for, yeah. well, probably two two miles. We're two miles away now, so as soon as we've been out to park up. At Burger King of all places, I'm going to go and get a flipping coke, I think, or something. Um, <laughs> For a vodka in So man. you wouldn't come out, would you? We're waiting to come out. I'm blocking Barry. I'm beeping me on. Anyway, we I think we're all right. Look at now, him. It's perfect now. Honestly, it, it was scary, getting scary because Mark's I, done, Mark's, I'm glad you did that video because no one would believe yeah, it. Yeah. Well, we it haven't filmed anything. It, it was getting worse. I mean, mm. every time he does it, his body goes rigid. And I don't know if you've seen a dog have a seizure, but every time we were doing it, mm. like a, it does, a mini seizure. It does this reverse sneezing. Anyone who's met Chico, no doubt, uh, over the uh, last 12 months while we've had him, anyone who has met him, no doubt, will know. But he does this reverse sneezing, and it's dead common in Chihuahuas. And you just put your fingers over his nose for a couple of seconds, it stops. and it stops. It's a bit like a nick up, but back to front. It's like uh, uh, something in the it's soft palate. It's like... Uh, but you were annoyance. thinking he's picked them up from the flower shop. Well, I thought you, because I said to you, have you taken them near these flowers? Now, these flowers are all in boxes and tubs, and I know we use all sorts of things, treatment chemicals and uh, insecticides and stuff, to get them to grow in conditions where they shouldn't really grow. And I'm thinking it's like an allergy, is his airways sw swelling up. Well, well it looks like not. it with that biscuit. Could they only well, have I've, been I've been reading up, it says put your finger on his nose, mm. breathe into his mouth, soften it. I was blowing his down his throat. nose, but I think next time, if it ever happens again, we get his mouth and and blow down his mouth as well as we can you blow him up like know, a balloon it'll pop won't he oh guys that's a nightmare so actually it saved what, us a good few hundred euros that, I guess. Probably, and the rest because he probably would have said leave him here and then mm. we had to come back tomorrow um it's easier to get a vet in the uk well My the thing God. is this is you ring the number it's an emergency you, you i've been on the uh on the website it's called the ami ami vet ami care, or something Am, like that. ami care ami vet or something like that and i've been on the website and you can translate it to english and it's all nice english and it says an emergency and there's an emergency number you ring well the problem is it's an automated answer phone so we don't actually answer it so I've got it on loudspeaker. You've got Google Translate on, and it, it goes through dead quick, and it basically says, in the, if you've got an emergency, come down, there'll be someone here. So that's why we've driven it all the way around. Fingers crossed that someone... Now, there was someone there, the fella who came up, the German fella, said, press the button, mm. and we still had to wait five minutes, and we kept saying to each other, what do we do? He's not doing it. But they would have... If, if it had been carrying on... But they still would have wanted a payment to say, for mm. to say, he's not doing it no more. So we've walked away. We feel a bit bad, but it's so hard to explain that we're thinking it's just that because literally we left the van it were on the floor the biscuit so. if you've got a dog or an animal any kind of animal that's part of your family you know you'll go you'll bend over backwards to make sure that they're, they're okay and they're not suffering that's all we've done with chico tonight mm. lo and behold the, the 11th minute is showed us that he is all right and it's saved as a packet full of money it still does a bit of wouldn't come into it i wouldn't have bothered i'd have paid whatever we said that tonight i'll pay whatever because mm. we do have a card yeah well that's it side. we have a credit card which yeah. we'd use in the minute which that's it but um he, he still does agree he just did it mildly he always grunts and stuff i think his tongue's too big for his body that's all but that's why it hangs yeah. out yeah. so end of that i said i weren't picking you up again till it morning I, it might be tomorrow night i'm, I'm gonna be shattered it morning after all this so for now we're gonna leave it there and likely this will be end of the video and if it is you'll have to wait until next time to find out what we're up to in Archon, Aachen, whatever yeah, it's we're called. actually in uh, Aachen. 
if you've liked this video please like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one but why'd you have to break my heart i wasn't ready to let you go yet and now you're standing at my door thinking that i'm gonna let you in but if you wanted to be loved you should have never let me go hope somebody will break your heart so you could feel this pain and know what it's like to be left out in the cold Standing by yourself, no one to hold If you still wanted to be loved You should have never left me